and happy wax on Wednesday. Uh, today I'm doing a little contrast between an encaustic pour and a shellac burn just to sort of show the difference uh, that can happen in line and form. Um, I've chosen two really simple uh, meth versions of each of these methods. Of course there's tons of ways you can do uh, both a pour and a shellac burn and I just kind of chose two really basic um, ways to show the differences and between the two techniques and we'll see how it goes. And right now I'm just taking some homemade encaustic paints that I've made here in the studio and I'm just melting them in this vat of uh, wax. I've pre-melted some uh, lavender and I'm just adding um, some more colors. I'm not stirring them or swirling them around. I'm just melting them and letting them sit right there in the vat just as they are because if I don't want them to mix up so they uh, create mud and I'm going to go ahead here and add some white and still uh, not stir it at all keeping all the colors separate. Now I've taken a little 6x6 cradle board and taped off the sides with some painter's tape and I've built the sides up above the um, top just a little bit to catch the pour. I've set it on my heated palette just to keep it warm so it doesn't the wax doesn't dry quite so quickly and I don't want it to really uh, make a mess on my palette right there so I've just sort of built the tape up a little bit. And I just go ahead and uh, pour, and you can see all those beautiful colors sort of swirling together naturally on their own. And I'm going to help them out just a tiny bit there. And this is just my base layer here, my layer that I'm starting out with. And now I'm taking the exact same colors that I used the first time, minus the lavender. And they're, so they're a little bit bolder and I'm filling them in. And then I'm going to go ahead when that solidifies and take some white and sort of fill in um, the rest of around the sides and any holes that I might have with just predominantly some white. And now I'm going to very carefully begin to fuse the piece with my torch, being very careful uh, of the tape on the side of the piece that I don't catch that on fire. Okay, and moving on to the second piece. Um, for this one, I did the, melted the exact same colors in the vat, and I'm adding just a little bit of shellac to the pour, and just to try something different. Um, usually I paint it on with the brush and this time I thought I'd see what happened if I mix, just mixed a little bit uh, in with the paint. Okay and going back to the first piece uh, before I fuse it any farther with the torch I'm just going to go ahead and remove the painters tape uh, that was built up there on the side and I'm going to retape the side but I'm going to make sure that it's flush with the uh, top of the piece so it doesn't stand up over and take the risk of catching on fire. So I've retaped the edges of both pieces and I'm just going to begin moving the wax around with the torch. Uh, this piece is the shellac piece and I'm just, I have a really low flame on um, the torch when I'm doing this and I'm just kind of slowly beginning to move the wax and see where it goes. And the fun and exciting part about both of these methods is just watching the wax move and react and interact with the torch and seeing what it's going to do and how everything's going to unfold. And on this poured piece I can use a very light flame on my torch and use it to reveal pockets of color that are hidden there uh, beneath the white and move them around and just watch as the magic happens.
And on the shellac piece, I'm just going to add some more shellac. And of course the shellac is what causes those beautiful cells in the encaustic wax as the alcohol burns off leaving just the natural organic amber shellac behind. And of course, just like always, there's several points in both pieces where I could have stopped and said they were done, but I keep going and keep playing uh, with the process and just enjoying uh, what unfolds. fun to play around with these two techniques side by side. So I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope you give it a try. Happy Wax on Wednesday and see you next week. And if you are enjoying the Wax on Wednesday series then please uh, give this video a like below and subscribe.